What's going on? Hope you are doing well. My name is David Crook, and today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to automate effects, automate stuff onto your songs. But before we get into the video, I want to remind you to subscribe and drop a like. I have a song here called Youth on Fire by Our Soul. I'll put the link to the music video and to the song down below in the description so you can check it out. The song is really, really good. I'm going to play part of the song just for you to get the feel of the song. And as you're listening to the song, you're going to hear a little bit of automation, a little bit of different effects that I'm going to show you how you can add onto your song just to bring more life, add more energy into the song overall. A dub. I cannot take me a loss or a draw. How is you down? You ain't down for the cause. Cautious when they ride by, I wanna shoot out my soul. I just wanna get my family out of this hole. I don't need riches, no piles of gold. I don't need bitches, I'm tired of hoes. I don't need riches, no piles of gold. I don't need bitches, I'm tired of hoes. Yeah. In the back of my mind, I see the youth on fire. Y'all gonna have to slow it down. In the back of my mind, I see the youth. In the back of my mind, I see the youth on fire. Y'all gon' have to slow it down. In the back of my mind, I see the That's part of the song. Like I said, if you want to check out the full song, hit that link down below in the description. If you heard the song and you were paying attention, you were to hear some automation at around this part here and this part here, as well as certain ad libs move left and right. Now, it's very simple to add automation onto your track, and I'm going to show you two different ways you could do it. I like using both methods. It just depends on what I'm doing. But if you, if I were to play the song here, you would hear some delay come out. Do you Back of my mind as well as here. Now, the way I added that automation is I added a separate delay, a one fourth delay, because this is what I wanted to add onto the track. I do have another delay on it as a one eighth just throughout the whole track just to keep the vibe of the song going. But for these pauses here, I wanted to add a one fourth delay. And the way I did that is I used the touch method, which is pretty much going onto the track where you want to add the automation. For example, they all say read. You want to left click it or right click it and click touch. Now, what this is going to do is whenever you playing the song and you touch something, whether it's adding more preamp more delay more reverb it is automatically going to automate it and write it into the track so if i were to delete this automation that i have here and redo it i would just play it in the back of my mind i see the you in the back of my mind i see the you don't fire y'all gonna have to slow it down in the back of my mind, I see the you. So as it was playing where the parts where I wanted the automation to come in, I just held my mouse over the bus 19 where this big delay is being bust into. And then when the part I wanted to come in, I just brought that send up. So it kind of just draws it in. I see the you. It's that simple. All you got to do is just automate it, draw it in as it's playing. You could also do this for other aspects. For example, if you want to add like an underwater effect onto your song, you could do that just by adding an EQ onto your beat track choosing the spot you want the automation to be at. For example, if I want to here, and then from there I go here, back to the automation, click, 
if I could put touch or write. You want to make sure you check this before you do anything. For example, this says volume. What you want to do is just go to main and then look for the EQ, which is insert number three. I'm tired of hoes. I don't need bitches, no piles of gold. I don't need bitches, I'm tired of hoes. Yeah, yeah. In the back of my mind, I see the you don't fire. Y'all gonna have to slow it down. In the back of my mind, I see the you. So then when you play it, I don't need bitches, I'm tired of hoes. I don't need bitches, no piles of gold. I don't need bitches, I'm tired of hoes. Go. I don't need bitches, I'm tired of hoes. I don't need bitches, no piles of gold. I don't need bitches, I'm tired of hoes. Yeah, yeah. In the back of my mind, I see the you don't fire. Y'all gonna have to slow it down. In the back of my mind, I see the you. So that's another way you could do it, but it's just an aspect of using an EQ to add the underwater effect, or you could do it to add more delay on certain parts of your song. Now, another trick I'm gonna show you what you could do is how you could pan everything. So for example, let's say I have these dubs here and I wanna pan it left and right. All I gotta do is click here, and this is gonna be considered like drawing it in, manually inputting it. So you, let's say I got this dub here. In the back of my mind, I see the you don't it's already panned, so I'm just gonna reset everything back to zero, back to the center. Y'all gonna have to slow it down. In the back. So everything's in the center. So what you wanna do is you wanna just double click where this comes in, click another point. I just do two points here. And then let's say I want to pan it all the way to the right. In the back of my mind, I see the you don't fire. And you could do dope stuff with this. So for example, I want to add a pan and I want to just have everything moving left and right. You could just draw whatever pattern you want. In the back of my mind, I see the you don't fire. Y'all gonna have to slow it down. In the back of my mind, I see the you. The only bad thing, personally, for me is it takes a lot of time just to be manually drawing all this stuff in. So, what I like doing is I like using a certain plugin. Like, for example, I like using this plugin here by Waves. It's called the Mondo Mod, I guess you could say. <laughs> and this, what this does, it manually move stuff left and right so if i were to play it to peace i pray to the lord keeping my faith and weather the storm patiently wait for my car you see so that way i could just have everything in the center and then this plug in itself moves it left and right i could also make everything slower so instead of at one i do it at five patiently wait for my car you see me pacing i'm racing i'm trying to take me a dub lost or a draw ties you down you ain't down for the or i could do it really really quick it just depends on how fast you want to do it so this plugin really comes in handy when you're trying to automate stuff have movement within your songs if you're looking into purchasing a plugin like this this plugin is from waves and i have a discount code for you down below in the description so if you're looking to pick up some wave plugins click that link down below in the description it'll give you a discount if you don't want to purchase a plugin there's always free options for example you could go in cable guys has this dope pancake too so it does the same thing just move stuff up the and right when it ride by, i want to shoot at my soul i just want to get my family out of this hole i don't need riches no piles to go i don't need bitches i'm tired of hoes i don't need riches no piles to go i don't need bitches i'm tired of hoes in the back of my mind i see the you don't fire and then they have some dope presets you could use but it all just depends on you what type of vibe you want to add to the movement so those are like three ways you could add on to your tracks right now just to add life into your songs you could do like the underwater effect you could add some delay you could add more reverb during the hook and then during the verse you subtract some reverb and you could just automate that in that way you don't have to just be keep adding different types of reverb it kind of just saves you some cpu and then the third way is 
just using a plugin like this one here or the one from cable guys or you could just draw it in the old school way It'll take you some time but hey if that's what you want to do do it that way do whatever feels more comfortable to you if you're getting into recording mixing and mastering and you need some more help when it comes down to that dm me on instagram mentoring and i'll give you more information on how i could help you personally improve your skills at recording mixing and mastering pretty much break down everything you need to know when it comes to recording setting up your equipment your home studio recording mixing and mastering i want to remind you to subscribe and drop a like my name is david the crook and i hope to see you in the next video peace Ooh.